Houston, say again, please. Uh, Houston, we've had a problem. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 3 of Arcania on the PlayStation 5. We are exactly where we were at the end of part 2. And we're going to crack on with the quest that is the Lost Leg. Because it's going to let us investigate the island a bit. And we have to sort of bring that back toward Murdra in the, the pub anyway. Or the Cleaved Maiden, as it's called. Uh, now interestingly, you have to find this on your own. You can't highlight it, so it shows you where it is. Now the guy did tell us it is east of the tower, or east of where we are. Now, we have to assume that the or on the top right there, we've got the orange marker on the radio map. And we've got to assume that's north, and it's never reached shredded wheat, so it's never eat. So we need to go up there and thereabouts to try and find this lost leg to complete the quest. And on the way, we shall meet many foes. And get new quests, one would hope. Gonna have a good look about in this part, not gonna rush toward anything. There's also the relics to find, of course we didn't find the one in Fresher. Could have googled it to be fair. Sea turtles. You get proper sea enemies in this uh, section as I remember. You think they're a turtle, but they turn out to be something quite different. Something is buried here. A fermented concoction of mana plants that refreshes and revitalizes the mana. The mana is bound to the potion of the fermentation and cannot be released. This vial only contains a small amount of. Right, okay. All right, I'm just, re <laughs> just reading what's on the right, aren't I? Good little stash, that. I think I'll leave the sea turtles. We don't seem to get points for killing them, and... I don't think we need the meat, particularly. I can't get over how delighted I am that this game is running like this. <laughs> Like, it's like all I've ever wanted in my whole life was this game to run in 60 FPS this smoothly. So beautiful. Here we go. Blood flies. Oh, there's a hoose. Oh, that's the woodcut, isn't it? We've been there, Stephen. Onward. If you watch out for the little butterflies, they tend to be hovering above things you can collect, which is quite handy. I can't remember if they do that with... Whoa, hello. I can't remember if they do that with the hidden relics. Let's see if we're doing much in the way of hitting these things at the minute. Thank you. interesting we've got a signpost danger earth slide all right <laughs> um okay we're on a path to nowhere right i think if i remember rightly there might be a path up in the middle of this woodcutter house Well, that was refreshing. I'm not overly sure what it did, but you know. Cleaved Maiden, right. 
It may circle around to other areas. More! Two more. Ooh, nice. Boar tusk, tender meat. Sunberry. That's healing plants. Fog and the time is all mine, all mine. Fog and the time is all mine. <laughs> You're welcome. That won't be stuck in your head all day now. Quite good at breaking you into the enemies as well. Uh, okay. I thought that was Diego there, which is why I didn't react straight away. Frost bolt, stamina potion, fire arrows, bandages, blunt knife. Oh, better shield. Oh, now. Stuart Militia Sword. That'd be interesting to see what that's like as well. Use the mattress. Have a little snooze. <laughs> it lets you use stuff. I'm not overly sure that it changes anything. We must better cook that meat on the pot though, can we? Nope. <laughs> Just sits down and uses the pot. That's fine. Right, well. Let's have a look at that sword. Oh, crafting. Didn't realise we could do it from here. Well, yeah, we don't have any crafting... craftable items, though, do we? I thought we picked up a few recipes. Ah, do you have to read them? Oh. Let's have a look. Quest items, scrolls. Ah, there we go. Learn. Cooking recipe for grilled meat. Already know it. Alchemical recipe for Alma's best. Nice. Alchemical recipe for minor mana potions. Brilliant. Cooking recipe for meat stew. This rune increases the power of its user at the cost of his defences. Yeah, I think you activate these runes, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming back to me now. We'll do that in a second. Alchemical recipe for minor stamina potion. Alchemical recipe for lesser elixir of prowess. Right, yeah, I think... We hit use. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Didn't actually mean to do that. Do we hit D-pad then? If we do, no. Uh... Ah, there we go. So if I hit L1, it changed bottom left there. It's changing the to the second layer of my stuffs, and I think that's where I put the 
runes. <coughs> no, didn't like that, did it? Oh, hang on. Yeah, there we go. Then hit up on the D-pad to put it in. So when we come out of there, oh, you have acquired the craft a crafting plan and all the necessary resources to create the item. Press options and open the crafting screen. Choose the respective item and the amount you want to pr produce and order the creation. Whenever an icon below is visible, you can craft at least one item. Yeah. So we've got the crafting icon down bottom right there. And it says crafting with a little hammer above it. So it'll always be there. It's a bit annoying because if you don't want to craft the items, <laughs> it still stays there. So, it's up to you whether you just craft them anyway, or leave it on the screen, but... There we go. Uh, so that's, uh... Yeah, so you need the little tubes, and you need the... Oh, that's interesting. Budding healing plant. Plus 30 health regeneration for 20 seconds, and plus 10 armor for... Yeah, it's quite good, that, actually. Might make two of those. Crafting successful. Crafting successful. Yeah, well, the, the, that's all the meat we've been picking up. It all gives you health. Not that we've struggled thus far. Minor mana potion. There we go. And then the little craft thing should have gone now from the bottom of the screen, which it has done. So let's just check our inventory to see what that sword was like. 14 melee power, yes. Yeah. So it's one more, and it's got plus 5 stamina on it, so we're going to be using that, I think. It's a short sword, though. Shurt... Oh, that's the short sword. That's the Stuart Militia sword that we picked up. Don't recall picking that one up. Yeah, well, that's 9 melee power. That's 14, so it's a big jump. Let's get that on. Oof. Well, it says short sword. I think it basically just means standard sword. That's it. We've got, we've got 15 of those goblin clubs. <laughs> we need to sell this stuff. We need to find someone to sell to. Excellent. We think we've got a better shield as well, do we not? Yep. 35 armor. Yeah, way better than the wooden one we've got on. 35 armor and plus 8 stamina. Ooh, it's a beast in it. And that can go down at the bottom now. Because we're going to be selling that. Nice. The big wooden shield. Onward. That sword and shield look awesome. I have to say, when, when I've got the shields on, I do kind of prefer the round ones, I think, a little bit. But it's a far better shield. I mean, I wouldn't not put it on. It looks good, though. I like the sword. I do love the kit in this game, to be fair. This, the, the actual armor, you only kind of get one decent armor per area as a main part. And then it's really your, all your other pickups that matter. Noticing a big difference with that sword, blimey. Goblin braces. I think we've already got a pair of those, have we not? We decided to take them off because we had something else that was better. Take them anyway, of course. Sell them. Right, well, that's going to go back down to the Cleave Maiden. And we want to go this way. Although, I tell you what, let's just pop back to the pub, because when we give her the beer, she might let us sell all this crap we've got, which would be awesome. And it's a quick, well, we're right back to where we were anyway, it's only here, isn't it? So let's get that out of the way. I'm pretty sure you can sell to her. 
pretty sure. Ah, oh, I forgot about her, yeah. Came here by boat, did you? Zira. Dartan has cut off the bridge to the north, and the pass in the south is buried under a landslide. So, if you can't swim across the Silver Lake, a boat is the only possibility. You don't look like an ordinary traveler. Who are you? My name is Zyra. I'm an adventurer. I specialize in old ruins. You're a specialist in runes? You're a specialist in runes. So have you heard anything about an old temple here in the mountains? You're looking for an old temple. How exciting! Tell me more. Do I have to? I don't know much myself, but Robar Pal Robar Bar's Pal oh, God sake, Steve. But Robar's paladins are looking for the temple too. I've talked to a mage. He gave me a lead where I could perhaps find out more about the temple. I've talked to a mage. He gave me a lead where I could perhaps find out more about the temple. Yeah, where? In the castle in Silver Lake, there's an old archive. In the castle in Silver Lake, there's an old archive. Maybe I can find out more about the temple there. Well, you'll have to think about how you're going to get past the brigands. Otherwise, you won't get to Silver Lake. I know. I don't know much myself, but Robar's paladins are looking for the temple too. The paladins? Yes. They say there's a blessed anvil there. The paladins want it, and I'm going to stop them from getting it. So you're fighting for the king of Sitarif? No, I fight for no king. I want to avenge my friends who were murdered by Robar's men. I'm sorry about your friends, but be careful. Vengeance is a double-edged sword. Right, murderer, what we saying? the mead yet I've got the mead ah good for something you are 250 XP whoop whoop and a whole bunch of stuff oh we've got more recipes so any idea how I can get across the bridge so any idea how I can get across the bridge take a kick of mead go to the guards at the entrance of the brigands come and ask them if they'll let you through you think that'll work? Not really, but they'll nick the mead from you and drink it themselves, and spike it with a few iron bullets. That'll rob them of their free will. That way you can take Dartan by surprise, and the bridge will be free. Sounds good. You win. Okay. Let's try the trick with the mead. You've already got a keg of mead. You'll just need to get three iron bullets for me. Where can I get iron bullets? Go to the old mine. There's some growing there. Iron bullets it is then. Right, hang on. Oh, where's she gone? <laughs> I looked, looked away to write down me notes. And she, oh, there she is. Murderer, come back. I want to know if, you'll sell, uh, if I can sell stuff to you. Press square to trade. There we go. Excellent. Right, let's sell this shiz that we don't need people. Right, let's get... I think that's not... Yeah, not sellable, that's it. Or exchange will keep. So we can sell... <laughs> you can't sell your shepherd's crook either. That's all the uh, weapons we can do. You can't sell your bow. Oh. Moldy short bow. Well, that's 7 range power and that's 13 that we've got. So we can sell that. We'll sell the shield. And 
And we've got two goblin braces. Uh, I don't know if we'll ever use those again. What we're wearing has got all of the same things. Apart, well, no, it's not got the magic power, actually. Yeah, we'll keep one of them. Four mana plus mana regeneration. Yeah, we'll hang on to that as well for now. Not overly sure we need to be selling any of that. I'm not... I can't remember if the torches run out. Uh, but I do remember using them, but it never gets dark enough for you to not see where you're going, as I remember. I could be wrong. I'll keep... I'll keep... I'll keep two. More rat fat we can get rid of. A small pearl. Don't think that's of any use other than selling. Wolf fangs. You know, I'm going to do all this and that will turn out that I need them to make some sort of potion, but anyway. Well, I know that the mana plants and the healing plants are the two things I really need at some point. Right, that's it. We've got 462. Uh, what's she got? A brass ring. Oh, she's got a never-ending supply of arrows, which is quite good. They're only one each as well. So I might just... Well, we've got quite a lot already. But we do use them a lot, so you get better ones as well, I think, later on. Take 200. That'll keep us going for a fair while. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's not often I can get it right on the money like that. Thanks, murderer. You can go now. Right, well, we need to go up there, I think we were going, weren't we? I'm not sure if the paths collide, to be fair. Let's have a look. Yeah, we don't really know, do we? Now that we've done all that, we'll have a save. Pretty sure it was a little hill up here that we were going to run up. I think there's a cave up here as well. Oh, there's a quest marker there. That could be that what that cave is, the old mine. Got a few quest markers now. Let's just see. Oh, hello. Iron bullets. Yep. That it is. Uh, an exclamation mark down here. The quest. Let's just do a little looking around first. I think I remember this quest actually. Digger. What are you doing here? All oh, right, great. 
I'm working myself into an early grave with this pickaxe here. If I had me a lembic, everything would be easier. I'd blow up a tincture and shazam! The entrance to the mine would be clear. Where's your alembic? <laughs> in the old tunnel that I live in, I haven't the courage to go in there right now, though. Wild beasts running around in my tunnel, you see. Woohoo! And there's me thinking. Maybe you'd have the guts, eh? You will notice in this game that many people look alike. <laughs> Pretty sure we've spoken to this guy about three times. He's got a different name every time. I'll get your Alembic. I'll get you your Alembic. Oh, really? That's... that's wonderful! Well then, I can put my pickaxe down and wait till you get back. Ha! Where do I find your tunnel? You have to get out of the mine again and follow the way to the south. You can't miss the tunnel if you follow that way. It reeks of goblins. They made themselves at home when I was toiling away here with my pickaxe. Yes, they did, those damn creatures. And since then, I've had to sleep here. The Abandoned Mine. You know, these goblins get a bad rep, you know what I mean? I don't think I've ever seen a game or a film where the goblins were good. I suppose Styx. Styx was a goblin, wasn't he? He was, wasn't really, well, he was kind of good. <laughs> he wasn't 100% good. Right, I think that's all we can do in here until we get his Alembic, which we can't get from in here. We have to go out. And then it all connects later when we blow up the wall. Interestingly, it should take us to the same. I mean, it's a good job. We might. Well, I think you can pick his alembic up anyway, and then see him later. So basically, if there's a little circle on a road in the map, it's a black circle. It's like a. That is a cave, effectively. Blimey, there's a few of them about. <laughs> Running away. Looks like he was getting ready to ram me right enough. Oh, thank you.
crafting's popped up again. Well, that's the that must be the amb the ambele ambelic, however you call it. No, might be a new quest, in fact. Ulfric Stormcloak. Well, it's not Stormcloak, but you know what I mean. <laughs> There's always an Ulfric, people. What are you saying, Ulfric? You look like a big, strong man. <laughs> He's got the same face again. Anyway. Insulting people with brawn doesn't show much in the way of brains. What do you want? Forgive me, I beg your pardon. I'm looking for courage, not cleverness. Because of those bloody goblins. What about the goblins? Those damned creatures have taken over my glade and are eating my herbs. Can you help me? Have you got a brother? <laughs> have you got several brothers that, that are all around this island? Tell me where your glade is. Tell me where your glade is and I'll take care of the goblins. It's directly north of here, not far at all. Goblin squatters. This will be them then. Oh, I've got a magic sky. Lovely. No, now. Stop it. Our chemical recipe for the night eye elixir. Bandages. Enchanted signet ring. Seven health, seven mana. Budding healing plant. Firebolt. Ooh, vials. Can't go wrong with vials in this game for all your crafting. Come on, but once we get the health potion one, that's us sorted for health, really. Just keep picking up the healing plants. I think there's a health one, a large health one, and so on and so forth, as you would expect. All frick, it's all sorted. Ah, oh, there you are. Is my glade safe again? Your glade is safe. Long live your glade. Your glade is safe again. The goblins won't be doing anything else, except fertilizing your herbs, perhaps. Excellent, excellent. I've got a small reward for you. Here, take Oh, lovely. 250 XP. Whoop. Let's go as minor healing potion. Lovely, thank you. Healing plant gain, vial gain. Yeah, so he's just given us the healing. Craft. Oh, you need to learn it, Stephen. Night Eye Elixir, healing potion, minor healing potions. Already know that one, already know that one. So if we now go to crafting. We can make two. Now we can only make two when we've got 18 healing plants, but we've only got two vials and that's why your vials come in well handy. There you go. Why is crafting still open, though? Let's have a look. Ah, meat stew. It's always worth having a few saves going on this game. And regularly, people, for those that haven't heard me say it before. 
can be a little bit buggy. Although I've only had one bug and it was right at the beginning and it didn't crash. It just made the music go wobbly. But on the PS4, I, I got a few bomb outs. Touch wood that will be all right. That's interesting. The crafting thing came up again, even though I've not got any vials. Oh, it's Stu again. Wow. There's an eye opener and no mistake. It's the castle. Hmm. I feel like maybe I've gone past where I needed to go for the cave, but I could be wrong. Goblins, I think. Quite easy to walk past the plants, to be fair. Too busy taking in your surroundings at the minute. It looks bloody gorgeous. Yeah, it's all relative people. I realise they're still popping and it's not <laughs> it's not new gen gorgeous, but compared to how it played and all the other versions have played, it's just oh it's amazing. You can even see the waterfall running over there in the distance. By the castle. You beautiful 60 FPS you, I love you. Like whenever I play something in 60 now and then I go back to a 30, it's like my eyes are just all funny. There's a bit of a secret path here. Ooh, I saw creepy crawly things up there and goblins. Well, I guess it will circle around. We can come back. Take this guy out first. Go down, you beggar. There he goes. Nice. Scorpion things look. Oh, it's a blood fly on the floor. That's what it is. Oh, we got a level up. When did that happen? That was exciting. <laughs> oh, got all excited there when I saw that, people. Good grief. 
Right, let's have a look. Yeah, well, we got our sword right up, didn't we? Can't do that till level 7. Ugh, it's so annoying, it doesn't tell you what level you're on unless you're in your inventory. Level 6. So, in fact, we could go up to that after we level up next time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. We wouldn't quite make it on two level ups. It'd have to be the third one. And that gives us eight attack swings without having to rest. However, I think I want to get this bow up. Smoother aiming while pulling back on the bowstring requires level four. Yeah, it's fine. So that's going to take us up even more damage if I just do one, two, three in that, I think. And that's also upping our mana and range power. health. That's doing health as well though. So yeah, I'm happy to put it in here, I think. So on the next one, we'll definitely do two. What does that one do? Your range hits. Your ranged hits to enemies' head and neck cause additional 30% damage. Nice. The bow was a beast in this game. It really was. I didn't do a huge amount with the fire that I re with the magics that I remember. I, I kind of went. I, th I did do a little bit, but I, I waited until I'd done a lot of this stuff. And you are, I mean, you, you've only got so many. You've only got 16 level ups, people. So <laughs> you have to spend it fairly wisely. Because, well, I say that. I, I can't remember how soft capped it is, but it's certainly. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to say. I'm not going to say, but. You know, at the rate we're leveling up at the minute, you wouldn't think it takes long to get to 16, but it, it, we've still got a fair bit to go. But I think pretty much you need to decide whether you're going to be a, a weapons person or a magics person pretty early on. We'll stick with our sword and bow idea at the minute. And if we've got some left over for one of the magics, then we'll do that. Magic and mana, mana, ma mana and mana regen, magic power and mana. Consuming flame causes fire spells to burn out faster. Sneaking makes enemies aware. We've also got the runes as well. Those runes come in well handy. You've got all sorts of runes. Ones that can shake the floor and knock enemies over and all sorts of stuff. I got right into those later on as well. Right. Decision med. In fact, while we're on with it, what's crafted? What's needing crafting? Bloody meat stew every time. You're as well just doing those, because they don't waste any, you know, vials or anything like that. Little side path up here to the left. To the left, to the left. Now then, actually I'm now wondering if this is where the leg is, the peg leg, the wooden leg. It seems to ring a bell. No, it's not. Just me and bad memory once again. Ooh, range, plus two range power, plus five health. Have we got any range power on what we're wearing? We 
we do. Oh, I've already got a wasp ring on, so what was that? Hmm, that's weird. Oh, it's just another wasp ring. It's put it on top of it. That's fine. That's fine. I've actually gone past the castle now. Big cave over there, which we'll be going into later. My arrows are bigger than your spitty things. Darts, I think we'll call them. Well, spitty things, if we want to go with the official name. The box down here. Big shiny chest and a skeleton healing potion, lovely. Ooh, mole wrap braces, plus two range power, plus one health regeneration, not as good as what we're wearing. Can sell those, bandages, rusty sword. A large stinger, well would you expect anything else from a blood fly? Bit of a cave up there somewhere. Still feel like I've missed a bit of a parallel road there, which I have done well out. Just go for it. I love the fact there's a weather system as well, like, it is pretty much just rain on, rain off, but, you know. <laughs> and also, there's no clouds while the rain is on. Oh, there is, I suppose, there. I see. We're actually doing the parallel path now, because that was the left we went into, and then we went round in a corner, and we're coming up here. I see. Worth having a little wander in the underbush sometimes. Yeah, there's the blood flies we've already killed down there. Look.
shamans and magic guys first, always. <laughs> He's got an arrow in his head. Oh, did you see that? Took t oh, no, I thought I took two out with one thing, but he's there. And another adjoining path for that sort of rectangle we've just done. And that's the path we ran up the first time. There's a quest marker there, though. Question is, can we get to it from running up here? No. Nope. Doesn't want us to go up there, does it? So funny that with the game, it kind of lets you run freely to a point, and then once it says no, <laughs> just you get a rumble and it just pushes you back down the hill. I assume, if I remember rightly, it's going to be part of uh, going into a cave. Or a, yeah, there's a cave. You can see a cave at the top. It's going to end up taking us into it. Which I'm sure is probably the cave that we're supposed to find the am... am well, I've forgotten the name of it now. Hello, we've got two red markers here as well. Oh, hello. I suspect the two red ones are part of the cave as well. Yeah. How are we doing for time? 52 minutes. Jesus, I've lost all track of time playing this. I've just lost all concept of time, I should say. Didn't see the shaman right enough. He's a little armoured one, isn't he? How do you like it, eh? How do you like it? Yeah, not much. When it comes to the battles, you're better just running around mashing the X button until he picks everything up. <laughs> Simplest way to do it. Bread. Bread. To the wooden leg. Ha <laughs> ha, peg leg. I knew it was cool. See, I called it peg leg earlier, didn't I? <laughs> you see, it was in my subconscious somewhere. Peg leg. There we go. So that's the other murderer quest that we can we can get finished off when we go back. 
battered cudge. Uh, thank you. There we go. Quest updated. The lost leg. Peg leg gained. Well, we should be, if we follow this path round, I'm assuming it's going to take us to the cave at the bottom. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, I think it will. So we go. I think we can probably drop down to it, to be fair, but see what's on the way. Christ, there's enough goblins in the world, isn't Me. It wasn't really a, a smooth adjoining path, was it? That's not the pub, is it? I think it is as well. well we don't want to drop down there. Well, that's the pub. So, is that the cave we've already been in then? It can't be. Well, it might be, you know. I might be looking at the cave entrance that we've already been in. Yeah, it might well be, because that's just the path to the pub, isn't it? And there was the peg leg south of the tower, or east of the tower, we should say. Yeah. Well, I think that's right, because I think Stuart is where the castle is. And we can't go to Stuart yet because of the bandits. And the bandits are in the other direction from the pub. The bandits are up this way on the map, if I remember rightly. But it's bugging me that I haven't found the entrance to where these things are. two quest items that were still on are for the iron bullets which is the old mine and the old mine is where we need to go in to get the other thing as well the ambelic abandoned mine oh highlight let's just unhighlight the oh no we can highlight all of them it's fine Yeah, so there's an exclamation mark, red exclamation mark there, and there, and there. So, they're all around us, really. Yeah, to be fair, the mine question mark is probably just the guy in the mine. Yeah, well look, there's a cave there. That's the one just up from the pub. 
And that is the other cave entrance there, I think, that we need. So, yeah, we need to come back. We need to find a way around to this. I wonder if it is on the same path, then. I wonder if we do have to drop back down again, because there's no way we can get to it from there. It's all mountainy. Okay. We'll drop down to the next, the the other path again. I think I think those those all of those quests really should have been contained in that area right enough. I might you saying that peg leg wasn't. Yeah, it certainly looks like we can keep running past that, doesn't it? I've certainly not been here before. Another ball. Ooh, didn't see him coming there, did I? Didn't get to get his charge on. I always just have a little look where the animals sort of come from, just in case they're hard hiding or guarding something. Same with the goblins, obviously. Ooh, shiny. Battered pickaxe. Clouds cry a ring. It's plus seven magic, plus five mana. Seem to get a lot more damage when they're further away, don't you? Two as opposed to three arrows. Hello. Vas is Das then. I think that is the cave we this is the cave you are looking for. Right, I have to say I'm thoroughly enjoying this, people. That is a cracking place to wrap things up, people, as we are over the hour mark now. Spoiled you are, that's what you are. <laughs> it has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Arcania on the PlayStation 5. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.